Easter eggs are commonplace in today's video games, TV shows, and movies. In fact, right now you can probably find an hour-long video explaining all of the hidden secrets and Easter eggs in the newest Spider-Man movie. In addition, some of my favorite creators on YouTube dedicate their entire channels to explaining and uncovering video game Easter eggs. And so motivated by their passion, I decided to go on my own quest in order to find as many hidden secrets inside of PC hardware. And so today I have a handful of those Easter eggs to share with you. And if you pay extra close attention, you just might be able to find an Easter egg that I have sprinkled into this video myself, which I will reveal at the end. Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Yeaster, your tech tinkerer, and before we get started, I want to remind you to grab yourself some Mr. Yeaster merchandise on my website linked in the description below. There's a couple really cool thermal paste and tech tinkering t-shirt designs out there, and for the next week or so, you have the chance to grab a limited edition X-Ray CPU sweatshirt. Afterwards, that item will be gone forever, so grab one now. Alright, starting off with our first Easter egg, there's a good chance you might actually be able to uncover this one yourself at home if you happen to have built your own computer. This here is the packaging of an older Intel CPU, and if we unbox it and look carefully we should be able to find a sticker. Now there's a good chance that if you have an Intel powered laptop that you can find one of these stickers on it as well. Now if we peel off this sticker and flip it around, we can reveal this awesome holographic pattern, which by itself is really cool. But what's even cooler is that the design actually mimics the processor's internal architecture. Processors are composed of millions of microscopic transistors carved into various layers of semiconductive material like silicon. And the various channels and components that are etched into the chip itself look a lot like this sticker. So the fact that this sticker actually resembles this architecture is a really cool hidden secret that Intel definitely didn't have to do. To compare this to the sticker that AMD provides in their packaging, let's take a look at the one included in an older AMD FX processor's packaging. Here we can see no holographic pattern, just the normal sticker. And so while I think this Intel Easter egg is really cool, apparently Intel is not keeping up with it themselves. The latest Intel processor that I have my hands on is the 10th generation, which when I check does not have the holographic sticker. But if you have a latest 12th gen Intel CPU, let me know what the sticker looks like on the back in the comments below. And if you happen to have an older Intel sticker laying around, see for yourself if the holographic pattern is included. Up next is an Easter egg hidden inside of a joystick, specifically inside of the Microsoft Sidewinder Precision Pro, which was a USB joystick released way back in 1995. Now some cool things about this old school joystick was that it was actually one of the first of its kind to use light sensors instead of potentiometers. This meant that it didn't require any additional calibration which a lot of the other joysticks at the time needed. But as a downside, spinning the joystick actually built up a bunch of static electricity which made for some really interesting electrical problems. Now if you happen to take your joystick and flip it over to reveal the anti-slip cover, remove that as well as the few sets of screws underneath it, you can find this plastic plate that has a bunch of engraved signatures on it. In this Easter egg is really cool because the designers of the joystick literally left their mark. That's right, these signatures represent each designer that worked on the joystick, and seeing their names actually molded into the plastic is a really cool touch. If anyone happens to know someone whose signature is on this joystick, please send me an email because I would love to hear their story about it. Alright, our next easter egg requires us to stay in the past, this time around 1989. That's the year that AMD, that's right, the same company that is currently making Ryzen and Radeon components, developed this tiny guy right here. Here, which at first glance kind of reminds me of the Sentinels from the Matrix. This here is the AM658HL, which is a voltage comparator, meaning that its job is to take in two voltages and output whichever one is larger. And apparently there is a hidden message inside of this tiny little component. To see if that's true, we are going to have to get inside of this metal cap here. Now, I wasn't able to track down exactly which consumer product this would have been a part of, but it's safe to say this has not been in production for the last couple decades or so. Regardless, thanks to eBay, I was able to get my hands on one for just a few dollars. Now, I'm sure there is a way more efficient and safer way to do do this, but we will make it work. But as always, please don't try this at home. Now that we have access inside of the metal cap, we can take a very close look to see an integrated circuit that houses the actual comparison logic. Believe it or not, that tiny integrated circuit is actually where the hidden message is written. And while it is completely invisible to the human eye, it does not become any more clear by zooming in with our camera. So we're gonna have to break out our high-powered microscope to take a closer look. 
Thankfully, we have one of those. So by powering on our microscope and moving over the integrated circuit, the hidden Easter egg is revealed. Take a look at that. That is a tiny smiley face as well as an AMD logo greeting anybody who happens to stumble upon them. The scale of this is honestly insane. This is so small, it's kind of hard to comprehend. But still, clear as day, this Easter egg is smiling right back at us. <laughs> now, if you're anything like me, then you're probably wondering, how did anybody find this Easter egg in the first place? Well, my current theory is that the design spec for this voltage comparator detailed all the nooks and crannies of the integrated circuit within it. And since those design specs are digitized and show exactly what's printed on the circuit board, I could see someone stumbling across that file and seeing that there's a smiley face and then checking to make sure it's actually there, which it is and is really cool. This might just be one of my favorite Easter eggs of all time. Up next, we journey into the world of printers, specifically the HP LaserJack printer series. And while I personally have only really had awful experiences with at-home printers, if you do happen to have one of these that were produced in the early 2000s, you can follow these steps to reveal a wholesome Easter egg. On the bottom of your printer, you should be able to remove a few compartments and wiggle the bottom plate loose. From here, if you disconnect the various cables that are attached to it, you can remove the circuit board altogether. Now, if you take a very close look between the two largest connectors, you'll find a message that reads, this product is dedicated in memory of our good friend Ming Zen Kuo. After some very basic internet sleuthing, it turns out that Ming Zen Kuo was an employee at the HP LaserJet division and passed away in 1998 prior to this product hitting the market. A wholesome message indeed and a good reminder of the individual human lives putting their hard work and passion into designing and building these computer components that are easy for us to take for granted. And finally, the last Easter egg I have for you today is arguably not a computer component, but I think it's really cool nonetheless. This here is a Kindle, more specifically a Kindle keyboard, which was released in the product's third generation back in 2010. Upon release, it was Amazon's fastest selling Kindle to date, and like a normal Kindle allowed you to read books and other bodies of text on the e-ink display. Now, aside from the fact that e-ink displays are just super cool in general because they only require energy when pixels need to change. Like right now, this isn't powered on, but has an image on it. Aside from that, Amazon actually hid a cool Easter egg within this Kindle. Now, one of the selling points of these Kindles is distractionless reading. However, if you were to go to the main menu and hold Shift, Alt, and M all at the same time, a game of Minesweeper appears. That's right, the same game that you probably played on your family computer is also accessible on a reading tablet. On the Kindle, you can uncover squares as well as flag Minds, just like the real thing. And for those of you who don't know, Minesweeper is one of my favorite games of all time. I quite literally have thousands and thousands and thousands of games played. And in case you want to see some GoPro POV footage of me playing Minesweeper on my phone, you can check out this video. And for the final, final Easter egg of this video, I need to reveal the Easter egg that I planted in this video from the very beginning. To do that, we need to take a close look at the background of my desk here, where you should be able to see a Ryzen and an Intel processor box. However, if your eyes were keen enough, you should be able to notice that the Intel sticker is on the Ryzen box, and the Ryzen sticker is on the Intel box. Not only that, these stickers do not correlate to either of these boxes, with the Intel sticker being an i3, and the Ryzen sticker being an i7. If you happen to catch that Easter egg, kudos to you. And that's all the Easter eggs I have for you today. If you know of any other PC hardware Easter eggs that I missed in this list, please leave a comment down below because I am itching to find more of these. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe for weekly tech videos and daily short form content. Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys next time. See you later.